2007 Chevy HHR. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the front wheel hub assembly. So you can see, um, all I did so far was raised it up, got my jack stands there. Um, I took the caliper off, so it sits like this, okay? And you have two bolts on the caliper uh, bracket, which is these, and they are 15 millimeter. So you just take those two bolts off, one here and one at the bottom, and then the, cal the whole caliper will come off with a bracket, and you can just slide it up here. Um, now your rotor will come out. If it's uh, if it's rusted there, just spray some WD-40 and then just slightly tap it from here until it pops off. All right. Now we're gonna remove the. You see, it's, this one's kind of rusted a little bit. So I'm gonna try to uh, spray some WD-40 here, and then we're gonna remove that axle nut. Once you remove that axle nut, we're going to remove the, um, these two bolts here on the spindle. And then we're going to remove these two bolts out. I think we have to um, just leave a mark here so it doesn't mess up the alignment. Anyway, once you take those two bolts off, this will come out. And then you can slowly tap the axle in and then we'll have plenty of room to uh, remove these uh, three bolts here. You see you got one, two, and three for the wheel hub assembly. And you can access it from here after. Actually, you know what? I think we can, I think we have enough room to, um, to take it off from here. So maybe we don't have to remove that spindle. So we're, we're, I'm gonna try to uh, not to mess with these two bolts here. So I'm just gonna remove the axle nut. And then I'm gonna remove these three bolts here. One, two, three. And we're gonna access it from the back. And this one takes a 30 millimeter socket. So take this off, take the washer off. And then what you want to do is you want to grab something like this and you're going to tap it with that hammer so it'll release the axle from the actual hub right here and then now we can start removing the three uh, bolts holding the hub assembly okay, size 15 millimeter socket right here so i set it up like that and then i held the ratchet with my left hand and I just kept tapping it like that until I loosened it. Same goes here. I have it set up like this. And then I started tapping it with my hammer, with my mallet. Started loosening it, loosening it up. And the same for the bottom bolt right here, right there. Okay, so the, they're all loose, so we're gonna go ahead and remove those three bolts all the way out. And then I'm gonna attempt to pull the whole hub assembly off. See how easy that was. I thought it was gonna be stuck in there, but I guess I got lucky. So make sure you put this back the right way, like this. So this is the bad hub. definitely feel that, that bearings uh, done so the new one I got I ended up buying it with the ABS sensor but I think it's the same thing I just need to uh, I don't really need this so I could just pry this sensor off and then we're gonna go ahead and clean all that and then put the new one in and we should be good to go Our brush. Don't have to be super perfect. Just get all those dirt off of it before we put the new one in. And what I like to do, I like to spray a little bit of just a little bit WD-40 
so the new one will go in, in there smooth. You could spray some in your axle too. So it'll go in smoothly in that. Alright. Alright guys, so I got the new hub in. Like I said, I ended up buying the one with the sensor in it, but it'll still fit. Even though yours doesn't have one, uh, you can either cut this off or just zip tie it somewhere like that so it doesn't get in the way. Okay. Then I got my axle nut here, so we're going to tighten everything up. Impact. Put in our axle nut. And by the way, don't forget to put this one back on. Sitting like this, this little plate right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use our gun. Make sure that it's in there properly. back on put the caliper back on with the two bolts take it for a test drive and that's it hope this video helps you if you got any questions just comment below click on that subscribe button and again thank you for watching